I'm still in Major County. I was following a section of blacktop that told me I would get to Longdale, Oklahoma, which I've been through there before. It's a really small town. And then the blacktop ended and I ended up on a dirt road that said it was a wildlife management area. And, uh, and I followed that and it took me to a section of one of our lakes I never even knew existed. This whole section was called, this is Canton Lake. And this section was called the Longdale Recreation Area. And way up there in the distance is the uh, ticket booth to get in. Of course, it's, it's unmanned. The wind is horrible, so I, I hope you can still hear me. I'm pretty close to the camera to talk to you. But I just figured we would take a look around for a little bit. All of us are doing things a little different to keep our channels kind of alive. Looks like this is a high water mark up here on this tree. I mean, I could be wrong. Last year we did get a lot, a lot of rain. Given the amount of sand deposited up here, I'm gonna bet the water was up this high. Now there are campgrounds here. This stuff here looks like it's day use. This fire ring is about washed out. This is a state park. So sometimes the state parks are cool little hidden gyms in the middle of nowhere, but oftentimes the maintenance that is required to keep them up isn't exactly the best. This isn't the worst one I've ever seen though. They got a playground over there and some uh, very primitive bathrooms. pick up right here but this is a kind of a neat little peninsula Pretty peaceful. Reminds me of when I went to the ocean as a kid. Kind of crazy how there's sand all over everything. There were some people over there around the bend that are fishing. Looks like they're catching striper. They got the big surf rods, so. Yeah, even looking at this tree over here, it does look like a high water mark. Water was up that high. As 
cool little hollow. As a kid, I'd have played in there. It's a pretty neat place. I may have to come back here and go fishing. A lot of sand for the kids to play in. We're gonna go see what else we can find today. Feed the soul. You guys have been. I know it's incredibly windy today, but I'm still out here at Canton Lake. And I just wanted you to experience some of this. This is the dam. Oh, lost my hat. Hold on one second. There we go. fishing. A lot of guys come out here and they fish for striper, sand bass, and catfish. It's a huge lake though. Vicious. Maybe get a little closer. It's not exactly the warmest. We're still warming up in the winter, so I bet this water is not warm. There's a date. up after your own damn trash.
little bit of a hike. It's kind of steep. Restaurant over here too. I've never eaten there though. Well, with this virus thing though, almost everything is dead. The spillway is going to be over that way. It's supposed to be a really good fishing over there too. Let me go take a look at that here in a second. This one here looks like it's got stairs. At least I see a rail. Now, I've never seen anybody over on these peninsulas uh, fishing, not off the dam. I'm sure they've done it, but I've never seen it. Well, if everybody has their little coves or uh, the spillway, that's where I seem to find everybody. We're at the back side of the spillway now. Um, I'm gonna have to shoot a little bit, but there's a lot of people out here fishing, so I'm not gonna disturb. It even looks like there's some people out here camping in tents, so that's kind of cool. Walk around over here. You see. We got a couple over there fishing. Spillway areas over here. This is where I see primarily 90% of the people fishing at Canton Lake. And this river part drains out the back and then you got a little camping area back here for tents and uh, campers. And then there's some primitive bathrooms back over there. It's pretty interesting seeing so many people out here though. Pretty peaceful. And you see up there in the distance up on the hill, that's the restaurant. It's supposed to be really good eating. Chicken fried steak if you guys ever are in this area. I've got some other places I've got to be, but I wanted to uh, give you all a little bit of a gander of this. Pretty neat place. Now I'm going to go do some more exploring today. This is Roman Ryan leaving Canton Lake.